and she was born with kind of toes and fingers and we knew you know she was our, a healthy baby and we didn't think to wonder if the organs were working like they should have but uh, it was hours later that we learned that her heart was not normal little megan shadel was born with a rare disease that prevented the left side of her heart from developing megan was uh, born um, with a heart defect uh, it's called uh, unbalanced atrioventricular canal with uh, pulmonary atresia and a small uh, or hypoplastic left ventricle. Uh, and w w with that, what that really means is that uh, she was lacking the main valve that takes the blood to the lungs and she had a large hole in the middle of the heart and her left pumping chamber was really uh, not uh, useful for, uh, to pump the blood into the body. Long ago, uh, ch children like, like my daughter, they were called blue babies and they were just, you know, within hours they would, they would just they would die. So what we had to do as a first uh, stage is uh, obviously assure a um, reliable uh, source of pulmonary flow or make sure that the blood could reach the lungs uh, so she could survive as a newborn. Hours after she was born, this toddler would undergo major surgery to survive. It brought tears to her eyes because she looked like she was just in so much pain and just draining tubes coming from her belly, the big incision on her, on, on her side and, you know, just to see her so, so innocent, so small, to have to go through something like this, I just, you know, the question was there, why did it have to happen? That was the first of three operations. When little Megan turned to uh, three months, then what we did is we had to take her back uh, to the operating room and what we had to do is we had to connect the main vein that drains the head and the arms of the superior vena cava directly to the lungs in order to take some of the volume off the heart because the heart was lacking one of the pumping chambers. So in, in doing so we decreased the amount of blood that reaches the heart and we assure, some, assure that the blue blood was reaching the lungs in order to get oxygenated and that's uh, called uh, what we call a bidirectional gland or hemifontane operation. We had no doubt that she was in the best care at their school with Dr. Morales. Now after that operation, uh, Megan went home and, and <laughs> she I guess did pretty good and, and came back about uh, two years of age. At which time what we, what we had to do is we had to connect the remaining um, um, drainage of the blue blood or the inferior vena cava that drains the liver and the lower extremities, connect that directly to the lungs as well. And in doing so, we, we actually assured that all the venous blood, all the blue blood was going to the lungs without going to the heart. And the heart was just receiving the red blood and from there was, pump, was being pumped off to the body. And that's what we call the Fontan circulation or the Fontan operation, which is the operation that we do on all babies that they are lacking a uh, pumping chamber. It would mean countless hours of waiting for the family. Time spent mainly here at Driscoll. Nurses gave us rocking chairs. They, they made everything nice and comfortable for us. When she had her four month surgery and her two year surgery, I slept in the bed with her. You know, and it just, it felt like home because I was with her and she felt a lot more comfortable, you know, being that I could accommodate her just like I would at home. Now the family is celebrating Megan's life and so thankful she is recovering. Dr. Morales says her prognosis is good. She certainly will never have a normal heart, but uh, she'll have a normal life. Uh, she'll be able to go to school, run around with like the rest of the kids, really um, go to college, uh, get married. Uh, become a professional if she wishes to really they, there's really no strict limitations on what her or what she can do if your school wouldn't have been here i mean you know other a regular hospital might not have known the condition or had the, the cardiologist to, to really pinpoint a problem and uh, with your school being here again it's just a benefit for everyone and you really don't know that until you have a child with something problem we can do things that we certainly could not do before and, and the survival now it's about 98% uh, uh, for most of defects and, and, and uh, we hope that we'll get better and better as time goes by. Just for the people of South Texas, I mean, you gotta sometimes open your eyes up and see really what you have as far as personal.
Exactly. Even though your children might be healthy, uh, your children's children might need the services here at Driscoll or just someone you know may spend the length of time that we spend, if not more, and that's when you'll know, when, you know what Driscoll's all about. Someone you know may spend the length of time that we spend, if not more, and that's when you'll know, when, you know what Driscoll's all about.